Five young men from Staten Island, New York, that had a burning desire that defied the odds. They became the masters of degree of soul and hip hop. They came off the heels of the Jackson Five. My love is always going to be with the Force of Bees because that's my group. That's, they that's my group. Real singers, singing hip hop routines and rappers. They were not, they were all not always singers. They were singers. all the way rappers. They, rap. they are the innovators of doo wop hip hop soul. They were the sensation of the 80s. More than one million records sold. Like you not really supposed to mention Flash and Cold Crush without mentioning the Force of Bees. You're not really supposed they to. They took the world by storm. They built that catalog and they built that bankroll for Tommy Boy to finance up. But we as the money. record labels are not. But we as the money. They came out, they had the F chains on, they were, you know, styled. The truth is the truth. Sounds like this, this, this disappointment. That was the first time that hip hop and R&B singing met. When it was the fourth MC, it was the masters of the ceremonies. Set yourself for a ride. You listen to that, you would say, wow, that, I know that from Gilligan Island. I was drinking like a fish at one time. Hip hop and do up. Because most singers weren't rapping. Most rappers wish they could sing. Any group that has merged hip hop and R&B are children of the fourth MD. But we were just running around, being wild and- A lot of drama. Most of the world know them as R&B singers. I smoked crack, I was out there. Pay me, I want my money, I want my money. I'm glad that I found somebody the hell was gone. We was, had that street swagger rawness to us. And we was like the lonely group from Staten Island, like the underdog, the little engine that could. We killing y'all, we can't explain, chilling right here on Soul Train. The rise, the fall, the resurrection, the Force MDs relive. And the legend continues.